have been a makeup artist for four years. I actually started out at ASU. Mm -hmm. I was in school to be an engineer, actually, and my first job when I first started at ASU was at Victoria's Secret in Scottsdale Fashion Square. And at the time, the, they were separated. The beauty was upstairs and the lingerie was downstairs and I was in charge of the beauty bar. And that's how I got into makeup. And then downstairs is the Mac store and I would come to work two hours early just to stay in the store, <laughs> just to be in the Mac store. And they would do my makeup for me and I just loved it. And I actually stopped going to ASU to become a makeup artist. I've never had like professional education to be a makeup artist. Um, I'm self-taught makeup artist, but I do have my aesthetics license. You do have to be licensed to work in a salon, so I do have that. You have to, you need to know the trends before they even come out. You always have to stay up with the trends. Um, you just always need to work on, work on your art. There's no, I like to tell people there's no correct way to do makeup. If it works for you, then it works for you, you know what I mean? So it's all about practicing. Um, you can learn technique, but you can take it or you can leave it, you can tweak it and do it your own way. So it's a lot of, a lot of self work. You have to work on it a lot, you know. I love my job. Um, I, besides in the salon, I do like photo shoots, I do fashion shows, I do weddings, uh, which is, you know, always exciting because, you know, fashion world's exciting. But here in the salon, I love my job. Um, I love making people feel beautiful. It's always exciting when someone sees themselves and they are just, they either start crying, which I'm like, hold on, you're going to mess up your mascara. <laughs> and, or they just give up and give me a big hug because, you know, they just love it. I love concealer. I, if I could get everyone to use concealer, that, you know, obviously brows and mascara, that's what a lot of people say. But if you have great skin, you don't have to have, you know, the best skin, but you can use concealer, put some blush mascara on, you can look like you have a full face of makeup on by just using concealer, which I love. For olive skin. Um, there's never any, I think what a lot of people are con confused about is, um, you, you know, you watch TV and you read magazines and they tell you, oh, if you have this kind of skin type, use this, or if you have brown eyes, wear this kind of eyeshadow. Um, mostly, you just, the only thing I would focus on is finding a foundation. If you're going to use foundation or concealer, you want to find something that has an olive undertone to it. That's the only tip that I would give. Other than that, you can use, you know, any blush that you want to use, any eyeshadows, as long as it's blended right and it, you know, it turns out looking well. That's the only tip I would have is really making sure the foundation matches because you can sometimes you get something too yellow which won't look right because you have an olive skin tone or it can go more to the pink side which is going to make you look kind of pale and sick which you don't want either. So that's the one big tip I would give is just make sure that your foundation is really, the undertone is really matching your skin's undertone. If it, you always want to start on the chin. Um, I like to use now I've gotten to the point where I can just pick the shade and just know it's going to work. But if, if for someone else who doesn't know what they're doing, you always want to um, match on the skin. Pick three tones, one that you think is bright. Maybe go one little darker um, and one little lighter and you put all three on. Whichever one disappears, that's the shade that you want to use. I mean, a lot of people ask me that. I, I don't look for it, you know what I mean? Because I know everyone's not a professional like I am. If it's way too much, that's usually when I notice. Um, like super, super drawn in brows, I'll notice. Or over the top eyeshadow that's not blended well, I will notice. And foundation that doesn't match right, I will always notice.